Some fundamentals of art are just so inherent to the craft that they're worth learning regardless of what kind of art you make. In this video, I'm going to cover how we can use some of these fundamental but extremely powerful techniques in the world of photo editing and digital art. Understanding these fundamentals on a more deeper level will not only make your work more aesthetically pleasing, but give you the clarity you need to become a skillful storyteller who can evoke emotion through the concepts and ideas you choose to explore. From my experience, lighting, colour and composition are three big techniques that will significantly change the direction of your work each time you create something. So by really getting to know these techniques, you'll be able to actualize your ideas more effectively. These techniques, when combined with a story, will really make your artworks noticeable. To show you the combined effects that lighting, color, and composition can have on a final image, I'll be making three different versions of a poster design, starting with the same basic materials for each one. From there, it's up to me to make each one stand on its own. I was thinking we could do some movie poster designs today, since they give us a lot of room to tell different versions of the same story. Today's movie will be called Strike, a buddy cop film starring this unlikely duo. By using these design principles effectively, I'm hoping we can get a series of posters which play with the seriousness of this movie. Because buddy cop films tend to be a mix between action and comedy, it would be cool to have one poster come across as super serious, another one come across as comedic, and have the last one somewhere in the middle. For each poster, I'll start with one photograph of each character in a different pose but under the exact same lighting conditions, and from there I'll build up different environments and stories as I go. So we're now in Photoshop, and let's start by creating the comedy poster. For this one, we're looking for something simple and straightforward that gets the point across quickly that this movie will be fun and energetic. It's actually because of this intention that we now see a lot of comedy movie posters with white backgrounds and big red letters. But let's see what we can do to make things a little bit more unique. Just from the body language of the main characters, we can already tell this one's going to be cheerful. What we want to do is find a way to accentuate the fun personalities of our main characters, and the background is a great starting point for that. We want something bright and playful for our background, so I thought we could start with an orange solid colour. Orange is often associated with optimism and enthusiasm, so that makes it a great choice of colour too. Let's also paint in a little bit of lighter orange on top of this, so we've got some extra visual interest. With this background, we can make our characters pop out from the background too. So just through our colour choice here, we've already done a lot to convey the genre of our movie. We're now ready for a few lighting adjustments. I'm not going to do anything too crazy, but we do need to make sure that one, the lighting matches between the bright background and each officer, and two, the lighting between the officers themselves match. To get this officer to look like he belongs with the orange background, we can add some more yellows to the skin tones by adjusting the colour balance. While we're here, we might as well darken up his uniform a little too. I've gone ahead and done the same thing for the second officer, but we still have to make sure that the lighting matches between the officers too. I'm going to match the lighting of the officer in the back to the one in the front, so this means we want to highlight around the right breast pocket and want the rest of the shadows on him to be a little bit darker. We're probably going to have to use a few adjustment layers for this to make sure it's right, because we'll end up painting both the highlights and the shadows separately. So I'm adding these highlights here with an exposure adjustment layer 
and these ones with the brightness and contrast layer, making sure we get some more highlights on his right. We're now going to add some shadows, again two separate sets, first using an exposure adjustment layer and then a few more using a brightness and contrast adjustment layer. Nice. We also don't want all this reflection on the sunnies, so let's paint over that a little bit, just so it's not as intense. We're now ready for the title, Strike, and I think we can even add a cheeky tagline to accompany it. I've got one last finishing touch in mind to wrap things up. Even though it's just one extra element, I think it really ties together the sense of story in this image. Now the police officer in the front looks like he's eating on the job, and the one in the back looks more like the classic clueless comic relief character. And I'd say we're now just about ready for a camera raw filter to give this poster a final polish. And here's our final poster for the comedic version. I think we've really been able to use the bright colours and lighting to our advantage to make the movie's genre really clear and tell a story about the comical relationship we're now going to take things completely in the opposite direction and go for a much serious and darker rendition of this story. So last time we had an orange background, but this time we're going to start with black. In terms of composition, it's pretty common for these buddy cop posters to feature the heroes side by side or back to back like we saw before. But we really want to bring a sense of intensity to this poster. And to do that, we're going to scale each image up, so we're working with close-up shots of both their faces. I was thinking we could have half of each face come in from either side, just like this. Now what we want to do is fade the sides of each face right into the background, so it looks like they're disappearing into the shadows. Now we're going to chuck in the movie title. Last time we had the text laid out horizontally, but this time since the title's really short, I think we could even go vertical and place it right in this negative space we have in the middle of the poster. We'll also add some blue outer glow to the text to make sure it stands out. Now let's do some lighting adjustments. To really sell the effect of the faces disappearing into the shadows, we need them to be a whole lot darker. But we want to do this in such a way that the lighting remains consistent between the two faces. So what we're going to do is make everything dark using some adjustment layers, but keep the couple of highlights on the face that can be found around the edge of the poster bright using masks. We'll also add a little bit of grain to this officer so we don't get this noticeable difference in resolution between the two. The grain also adds to the style of the poster, so I'm happy for that to be there. Finally, we're going to colour both faces with the same blue that's glowing from the text to really give it that cold and serious tone. Dark blue is a colour that's not only associated with police uniforms and authority, but it's also known as a symbol for something ominous, which I think makes it a great choice of colour. I also think we could use a tagline to reinforce the seriousness of the poster even more. Lastly, with a camera raw filter, I've added some final flourishes, leaving us with this as our final poster. I'm quite happy with this one, and I think we've made it pretty clear how colour choice and the decision to use cool colours instead of warm ones can really change the final feel of an artwork, even if we just compare it to the poster I made earlier. Because of the blue on the faces, the effect that lighting has on the final image is a bit harder to notice, but it still definitely plays a role in the overall tone of the image. Last but not least, we're going to be working on the semi-serious movie poster. We've got our duo here, and I'm just scaling them up till they fill the frame, standing side by side. We've used solid colours for the background so far, but for this one, I'm going to be using this sunset taking place in the city. The cityscape's going to add to the sense of realism in the poster, but the bright colours from the sunset should also give it a feeling of hope too. 
Now let's go ahead and darken the lighting of each officer because they've been hit by a backlight. As I'm doing this, uh, I've just noticed that the pre-existing highlights are working against us at the moment. So let's horizontally flip our heroes so that the current lighting works in our favor. We can now add a little bit of color balance to bring out the reds and yellows of the sunset in the skin tones and adjust the levels for some darker shadows. I've done this to both offices now, so let's go ahead and paint on some of the orange highlights. Because this strong backlight is coming towards them from the right, we're just going to try and get some bright orange onto the left side of his face in uniform. We'll now paint on some highlights for the second officer, just like this. I've also noticed that their weaponry looks a bit plasticky and cheap, so I'm just going to darken those up so they look more realistic. Finally, we'll drag in the title and add in a tagline and we can wrap all of it up with a camera raw filter. And that leaves us with this as our final poster. I like the colors we've got going on here, but I do feel like the storyline got a little bit lost for this one. We set out to make something halfway between serious and comedic so we did get what we wanted. But I do think this just shows the importance of story and how if you compromise on it, it's much harder to create a work of art. So here are all three posters side by side, and you can see how lighting, color, composition, as well as story have a great influence on the final artwork you produce. So by being more intentional with the way we use these design principles, we can really step up our artworks. If you need a framework for the specific tools you'll need to learn to get better at incorporating these design principles in Photoshop, check out this video here. And as always, thanks for watching.